No, I got a, I got a few wheels. Why you should choose Pins or Platinum for your next look? I got a few wheels, bro. Pins or Platinum oh, space oil is made from natural gas. Got a few of them. Five percent free from engine clogging impurities. Help and extend the life of your engine and protect it for up to no fifteen years or five hundred thousand miles, whichever comes first. Check your wind, you know that part right Pins there. Pins or Platinum. At What's happening today, viewers? To see. Thanks for tapping in again. It's your boy, Dream Inform. See, on this platform, we give individuals their flowers. I think this individual right here is well overdue. We giving our flowers today to S-Bone. S-Bone, I'm from the 40s, rolling 40s. This individual here is doing a lot for the community, but he has a story. Let me tell you. February 10th in the 70s, S-Bone was born in Los Angeles, California. Damn, nigga, we're in the 70s. Nigga, don't ask me, nigga. Hey, nigga, he was born in the 70s. Shut up. In the 70s, a lot of blacks, they migrated from the South, coming to Los Angeles, looking for a better life, escaping the harsh reality that was going on in the South where it was a lot of racism. So coming to California, they seen it as a better opportunity. Having a strong black mother in the household, and also having a father that was present, but a lot of ups and downs was going on. Espon would evolve into the streets later on in life. And graduating from knocking niggas out, you know, with the one, two, with the one, two. And then he'll get his master's degree in breaking niggas' jaws. And then that's when he'll get drafted to Just a regular tackle crew, you know, just let them get all fabulous. But then things got real one day. Deep my fives and shit. The good Lord, some told me this. Look, said, look, I look, and I see the dude creeping with a chrome gun. I never forget. South Central was flooded with gangs, but Asbon wasn't from a gang yet. He was just from a tackle crew. But then eventually, the, the We Don't Care tagging crew will be involved in a war with the five dudes who Snoop a sexual Uber Crips. And one of the homies had uh um, you know he had, had a, he had he, he went to jail for killing some hoovers. That's how the DC start beefing with the hoovers. Now eventually Espon, he'll join the ranks and become an official member of the Rolling Forties. See alone finding well, himself in prison doing multiple bids, just trying to get it right. Hell no, nah, cousin that dreaming about Ashanti. And a lot of y'all niggas' mamas too, because y'all mamas was writing him when he was in there. Anyways, yeah, man, but on a real note, man, S Bone, after doing all that time, man, he was in a real transition mode. And he had something to say for the for the kids, you know, out there, man, for real, for real. And we about to just basically tell y'all why this game bank shit ain't for fun. This shit ain't no game out here, my nigga. Got my nigga ass phone out here, Chaz, all these other niggas out here. We about to just get it going, though. You know, let's go. All right. I'm big ass phone. The low, the guy, number one. Everybody know me, y'all already know what's happening, but, uh, you know, a motherfucker ain't here like glorifying gang banging and all that old type of shit or whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? If you into that shit, then do that shit right. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of rules being made up. Niggas changing rules up and all that old shit, but this shit for real. You know what I'm saying? Niggas got tats. You know what I'm saying? Niggas just really out here. You know what I'm saying? H's whack, all that. 40 crib. Clothes and shit in the face. Neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Little homies we own. But this is what we're here to talk about. You ain't already from no hood, and you ain't from no gang, you don't need to be gang banging. You know what I'm saying? Because nine times out of ten, this shit ain't for you. You know what I'm saying? Niggas out here playing, they party crips. You know what I'm saying? They they, they going about drugs and all that. Yeah, this weed, I smoke weed. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Niggas on that bullshit and all that, whatever. But, uh, you know, my just to short my little life span up, I'm 35, been to prison like 10 times. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Got shot right here in the hood, bubble. You know what I'm saying? They didn't say fuck the hood. They was like, fuck you, ass bone. So, what that tip? 
you know what I'm saying? When I was younger and I started banging and all that old shit, I wanted to be known. I wanted everybody to know me. You know what I'm saying? And, and I wanted to go to prison, all that. Just like how I look right now, tatted up. I wanted to be like this. But now I'm 35 and I don't want to be like this. I want to be regular, but I can't be regular. Because of all the shit I put into it, the hard blood, sweat, tears, you know what I'm saying, homies dying, you know what I'm saying, they got little homies out here that a nigga love, you know what I'm saying, niggas gonna go to bat for them. So, you know, for you niggas out there that's trying to bang and all that, you niggas need to think. First things first, you grown first. Once you get put on the hood, you ain't got no jurisdiction over your life, even though you're a man. But you're gonna have to follow rules and protocol. Second, if you banging, get you a gun. How you gonna be from a gang you ain't got no gun? Don't come get mine. Get your own. You know what I'm saying? So, you out here banging, you know what I'm saying? Tattoos and all that shit. That shit don't, that shit don't get it in, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? You get it in when you're getting it in outside your hood. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no loyalty no more. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no respect. Certain niggas got crews, this and that, this and that. You know what I'm saying? I'm from the old school. I've seen it all from being incarcerated in the chain gang to being full head first out here in these streets. Like, what happened? Remember, through the hard times, everything gonna see all right. Yeah, all good. And remember, never see scared of nothing. That's custer shit. You find me? We ain't got no older homies that's standing on the cold. We ain't got no older homies that's regulating. We don't got no older homies that's opening their mouth and really doing what older homies supposed to do. Because if we was, we wouldn't be in this situation right now. You know what I'm saying? Ready? Now. Ellie. 600, I don't know what he trying to campaign for, bro. You a little homie, cuz on hood. You ain't even like that. You ain't even live that type of lifestyle, bro. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to deal with you a whole nother day because you definitely going to get an issue, nigga. You want to be famous? I'm going to make you famous, nigga, on neighborhood crib. Raise the seat and ice. hold it high. Anybody that know ice out here in the city from the hood, from the neighborhood car, they know that nigga says he's a homosexual. I like booty. You know what I'm saying? That nigga like booty. That nigga take booty, rape niggas, do all that. Nigga, these are facts. Really. And, and just because, just because he here a, a, a nigga on the down low, don't mean that, you know what I'm saying, he can't be politicking, you know what I'm saying, if he if that's something he wanna, you know, wanna stand up on. Him. But let me tell you something about prison politics. When you be on certain yards, certain level foes and all that, snitches is not allowed and faggots is not allowed. Niggas is fags, you know what I'm saying? They get bust on, niggas to get them out of here, they off the yard, facts, you know what I'm saying? So a nigga that's a fag, he kind of meet the same fate as a nigga that's a snitch in the pen. So y'all make sure y'all remember that. When y'all hearing about these niggas fucking with faggots and fucking with niggas, they not on them level fours and they're on them zones. They on them level twos and certain level threes and shit. You know what I'm saying? Cause they can get away with that. You feel me? But this nigga Ice, this nigga Ice is a cold nigga. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna call out all the homies. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do another video because you niggas not regulating nobody. Y'all letting cuz slide around the hood. This nigga done sacrifice the homies and all that. That's how I know this nigga 600 not really from 60s. Cause if he really from 60s, he wouldn't be on a picture with this nigga. Or on the video with this nigga because that nigga Ice is a cold nigga. You know what I'm saying? He got the hood in a cold twist right now. But that's a whole nother story for a whole nother day. You know what I'm saying? But this nigga Ice, I hope you see this video. I know you is, nigga. On Nate Book Crib, nigga, you a buster, cuz on hood. Nigga, I been in your DM. Nigga, I been harassing you, nigga, trying to pull up on your politics to see what's up with you, nigga. 40 Crib, nigga. I did everything and, and exhaust all my remedies, cuz as a crib. As a real nigga from the hood, as a stand-up nigga, I did all my shit, everything I'm supposed to do, cuz on Nate Book Crib. You try to come and put some fake-ass paperwork out on me and all that old shit, cuz? Why y'all didn't read that shit on air, cuz? Why y'all why y'all didn't read that shit on air? Why you have to hand it to this nigga, uh, Officer Love Boy? You feel me? Y'all could have read it on air. It's two niggas right there. But guess what? I got the paperwork right here. I got the paperwork right here. I got the paperwork right here. Paperwork right here. I'm not gonna read it. Nah, I ain't gonna read it. I'm gonna wait to read it. You feel me? 
even though I know what to say, but I'm talking about for for the public consumption. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> now, 600, you forced my hand, bro. I'm gonna holler at my lawyer today, and I'm finna try to file a lawsuit on your ass, nigga, for defamation of character because you put my life in jeopardy. You playing with my with my career on this YouTube. You trying to blemish my name. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna sue you, nigga, for defamation of character. As far as ICE. If I don't catch up to you, the streets gonna catch up to you because you already know you sour power, you foul. You know what I'm saying? For me to even see you on the internet, on the video, is shocking to me. You know what I'm saying? That's how I know niggas is really jealous and all that old shit. You feel me? Last but not least, let me explain something to y'all because everybody wanna always call people a snitch, a rat, and all that old shit. Now, somebody that's working with the DA, helping the police, pointing people out, getting on the witness stand, pointing people out, circling six packs, signature, saying people name, those are examples of snitching. That's telling. That's telling, bro. If you a DA witness, that's telling. If you get on the witness stand and you say this person did that, or that's the person, that's telling. If you circle a six pack of somebody's face and sign it, that's telling, bro. You know what I'm saying? And on Foley Crip, nigga, they don't got nothing to say that, nothing to back that up. But this the kicker part right here. Because people always quick to say niggas is telling, but what happens to the people that's putting these accusations on niggas? When niggas is gonna start cleaning them niggas up? See, the streets is all out of whack. The streets is different. That shit watered down like a motherfucker. Niggas don't do what they supposed to do. Niggas don't uphold no rules. Niggas don't have no meetings. Niggas don't discipline niggas. Niggas don't reprimand niggas. Chastise niggas or none of that. Niggas just let niggas do what they want to do. So, now we got content. It is what it is. I ain't tripping. Like I said, paperwork right here. You know what I'm saying? My name is Ron J. Dewan Moffitt. You ain't go pull my name up and see me on no case, charge for no case, nothing. You feel me? Period, point blank. You know what I'm saying? And it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, 600, I'm going to holler at my lawyer today and see if I can sue your ass. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you on here putting out false narratives, fake accusations and all that old shit. Shit that can get me harmed, get me killed and some more shit. You feel me? But I ain't tripping. You know what I'm saying? I'm kind of glad that. You niggas did that, so now I could be real transparent, you know what I'm saying? I could put all you niggas on blast. Nigga, Ice, you a fag on 40 Crip, nigga. You got the homies in the wreck, nigga, in Ironwood State Prison, nigga. The whole neighborhood car, nigga. The homies had a wreck, nigga, a riot, nigga, over a fag, nigga. Cause you was fucking a fag, nigga. You and a nigga from Hoover, nigga. Y'all niggas was arguing over a boy, nigga. Booty, a man's butt. And you got the homies in the wreck, nigga. You was supposed to get bust on for that, nigga. Then you get out, nigga, and you sacrifice the homie and this girl, nigga. Them niggas, they lost their life, nigga, because of you, nigga, on 40 Crip. And the homies know that, and them niggas ain't doing nothing, nigga. So to the homies, you niggas sour power, cuz, on 40 Crip. You can't pick and choose when you want to uphold the rules. Right is right, wrong is wrong, cuz. Now, I've been riding around for the last couple of days, ruffling feathers, doing shit. You know what I'm saying? Homies been calling like, boom. Well, who paperwork is that? What you talking about? Cause, woo, woo. Because I was saying I was going to be pulling up in the hood and all that. You niggas is Spooky Johnson, cuz, on hood. You niggas is Spooky Johnson. Straight like that, you know what I'm saying? 600 more cash on hood. Nigga, you gonna give him cash money west or something like that or make him be involved in that? I squabble cuz for that position, whack. He's a buster. Whack, you in my generation, nigga. So keep that shit G, nigga, unless you want a yes nigga around me. Whack 100, hit me up, bro. We can do this on your platform, fuck it. They want the whole world to be out here and all that? Let's do this on your platform, whack. Hit me up, man. Hit me up, man. Let's talk about it, you feel me? Let's get them numbers right, whack. Let's get them numbers right, hit me up, fuck it. These niggas internet, so fuck it. I'ma be internet now. Wait, so 600, he was interviewing a nigga that was fucking with them boys? That's beyond the point. Espon, he responded in a real good time, and he wanted to let everybody know and clear his name up. 
So, hey, he got the paperwork, his own paperwork out there. And he willing to talk about it and willing to go out there and put it on the actual platform. So y'all stay tuned, man. This your boy Dreaming Foreign, Never Living Life Born.